partisans of World War II weren't just resistance fighters. They were the embodiment of courage in a time when the world was suffocating under the weight of oppression. These men and women, coming from all walks of life, farmers, teachers, students, even factory workers, banded together with one goal in mind, to fight back against the tyranny that had gripped their lands. In the forests, mountains, and war-torn cities, they waged guerrilla warfare, knowing that failure could mean death. It did mean death. But they didn't back down because for them this was about more than just survival. It was about freedom. In Eastern Europe, partisans disrupted German supply routes, carried out ambushes, and helped people escape the jaws of certain death. Jewish partisans who had survived the ghettos and camps fought with an intensity born from witnessing unspeakable horrors. With little more than stolen guns, homemade bombs, and sheer willpower, they made sure their oppressors knew they were still standing, still fighting. In Italy and France, the partisans formed intricate underground networks, carrying out sabotage missions, intercepting Nazi communications, and feeding critical intel to the Allies. They were ordinary people who made the extraordinary choice to risk everything countryside, striking at enemy convoys, blowing up bridges and weakening the Axis grip bit by bit. The French Maquis, in particular, operated as a shadow army, preparing the way for the Allies to land and liberate their home. In Yugoslavia, Tito's partisans were a force to be reckoned with. They didn't just fight, they won battles that shifted the tide of war. Despite facing brutal reprisals, including the slaughter of innocent civilians, they never backed down. It didn't matter if they were Serb, Croat, Slovene, or anything in between. They fought as one, united by their determination to drive out the Axis invaders. These partisans weren't just soldiers in a war, they were heroes. They protected the vulnerable, shielded families from the chaos, and kept the flame of hope alive in a world that had gone dark. They showed that real power isn't just in guns and bombs. It's in the will to fight for what's right, for your own survival. In the snow-covered forests of Poland, the rugged hills of Greece, or the narrow streets of occupied cities, these men and women fought to restore dignity to their nations. For their people, they were the breath of freedom. For the rest of us, they're a reminder that even in the darkest times, the human spirit can stand tall against that which assails it. The partisans of World War II were noble, true heroes in every sense of the word, and their courage will forever be a testament to what it means to fight for freedom. In the words of the old folk ballad Bella Chow, this is the flower of the partisan who died for freedom. May their souls never be forgotten. Bella Chow.